yes sex is amazing sex is 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 is, is beautiful and it's beautiful if you are with a person that you are sexually compatible with so 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 important <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. I am Global Guys Tawesia and you are tuned into Diary of a Dark Skin Girl. Today we have something that's saucy, spicy. And I've been meaning to do this, but I was like, oh, I don't know how people are gonna take me, you know, because like a lot of um, my family members actually watch my YouTube videos. So quick disclaimer guys. Oh, it is what it is. It is, it is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> like it is what it is, okay? I need to share that information, honey. Anyway, so okay, before we start with the video and everything like that, please don't forget to subscribe. Please don't forget to press that notification bell. Follow me on my social media platforms, guys. It's also a vibe of the blur. Okay, okay, so just start with the video okay okay so before we start with the video girl has hot wines because it's gonna be a long ass video i'd like to think but i'm gonna try to make it very short okay so something that a lot of people don't know about me is the fact that i am very i'm very open about sex and i feel like we sh all should be because it's a beautiful thing okay yes it's forbidden it's a sin and whatever but we're still doing it like you know we're still doing it it's a sin and not supposed to but we're still doing it so why not do it right you know and i feel like a lot of people in like a lot of people who are in, who are in relationships don't really speak um openly about it it's like sex is kind of like a taboo thing and it shouldn't be like that because that's when the whole the sex in the relationship becomes so boring and people go and seek other things outside i feel like if you're in a relationship with a person you need to speak about it you know you need to be open about it and be like if your man ain't doing it it right honey tell him baby listen you know when we do a b and c and d like i really don't like d like just just, just take d out you know I mean, like, open and honest conversation with your partner is, 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 is it's vital. Especially if you are in a relationship and something long-term and you're trying to build something, then talk about it, you know? Um, I have not always been like this. Like, I have not always been the person who actually is very open and honest about um, sex with my partner and everything like that. And reason being, I feel, would see, um, we all compatible with someone right i like to think and we're all sexually compatible to someone so it's not as if you're gonna meet every single guy and you, you you're just gonna be sexually compatible it doesn't work like that um it's just vibes just energies you know if they don't gel they don't gel for instance me if i am with someone that i don't feel like um, my sexual energy and theirs don't connect then instantly I'm, I'm i'm seriously dry down there honey like i'm dry as fuck because i don't feel them and there's it's nothing um there's nothing wrong with the other partner but it's just that like we are not compatible and it's okay because they might be compatible with someone and I'm, i might be compatible with another person and i feel that we should talk about such things as open as possible like if you are gonna go to bed with this amazing man that you just met, he's he ticks all the boxes, but the sexual energy and everything is not there. Then you need to talk to them and be like, "Ish, babe, you know, whenever we have intercourse, I get seriously dry. Can we do something about it? If you want to try something about it, you know, like if you still want to try things with the person, like do something. Like, guys, y'all need to understand that foreplay is very much important. Okay, foreplay it is very much important. Hanai. You know don't just like take off my clothes kiss me next thing bang you want to get inside of me no it don't work like that like foreplay play is very much important so you know so there's lots of things that you could do man there's lots of things that women can do to 
improve the whole sexual experience the things that men can do to improve their sexual experience for instance i tried um the cinnamon and milk um combo recently actually and i did not tell my partner that i'm trying it but i tried it anyway because i wanted to test waters you know see if it's actually true because like a lot of people talk a lot of gibberish and is there's lots of combos that i've heard that you need to mix what 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 with which i'm like Ugh. but anyway we'll get into that because i have a list guys like I've, i have a list of these things okay so i'm gonna tell all about it so i tried the cinnamon and milk guys honestly it worked uh it worked it makes this whole sexual experience amazing so i can get on rain but a baby, let me make you some milk, you know, let's drink up. Like, just try it, Hans. Like, just try it. It's absolutely, it's nice. Like, it enhances the whole sexual experience. They said that um, it actually makes you tighter. Um, I don't know, because, like, naturally, I'm tight. So, I don't know if it makes it tighter. But, uh, yeah, the whole experience itself, like, Oh, but he couldn't get enough of me you know like he couldn't get enough of me he was all over me like a hit rash <laughs> so that's why i'm saying it actually works and um, i want to try this other one called um it's it's a stony and hulse yeah i've heard a lot about hulse you guys apparently even when it comes to a blowjob ladies this is for you if you're trying to go down on your man um eat the hulse and then go down on him Apparently, it, it touches a nerve, you know, like instant pleasure for a man. So do try that. So I want to try the Stony and Hulse combo. And wish me luck, you guys. I'm going to do a video about that afterwards and tell you if it actually works or it's just a lie, you know. Something else that I want to talk about. Um, this goes out to the men. Um, I feel our brothers need to try hard, guys. When it comes to sex, sex is not black and white anymore. There's new things that needs to be tried. Like we're not doing the sex that our parents did 100 years ago or 50 years ago. We're trying. We need to try and be innovative and try something new. You know, because we can't always be doing a missionary, guys. Come on, be spontaneous. Try something new. You know, um, and okay. There's this question that a lot of guys like to ask does size matter size does not matter all that matters is how you use your tool okay there's some things that your tool cannot do but you try to do it because you think that's how it should be i'm sure you're like what are you saying what i'm saying is <sighs> for instance let's try let me just give you an example if you are not well endowed like if you're not well like if you're not huge down there i would not suggest doing a doggy style because if your woman is voluptuous honey there ain't no way you're gonna hit the g-spot period period okay so try something else try something that will accommodate you down there and if you are well endowed, guys, like there is people who are well, who are huge down there, but they cannot use it. Or if it's not that, then they instantly hurt their partner. Listen to your partner. It's number one, very important. If you're huge down there, listen to your partner. It's very important because, like, if she's telling you that you're hurting her, then try something else. Try something else. And if you are huge down there guys loop has to be your best friend please loop has to be your best friend not mari not saliva guys come on now buy those flavored ones that smell good you know like come on guys let's 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 just uh, let's just be about the new millennium you know let, 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 let let's let's live and let live and make sure that we have amazing amazing and so of course while you're at it guys sex is amazing sex is is is, is 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 beautiful and it's beautiful if you are with a person that you are sexually compatible with so 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 important that's why i don't understand how people can sleep with 10 people at the same time like how you know no 
Anyway, I've preached. <laughs> I think I've preached. I want to give you 10 aphrodisiac foods, guys. Aphrodisiac foods are foods that gives you, you know, in the mood, in the mood. So it goes for guys and girls, but I'll just let you know which food works for who. Um, the first one is almonds. Almonds are absolutely amazing for guys because it boosts the libido. I remember growing up, they used to say that, like, eating peanuts, like, you know, peanuts. It's actually good for your libido and sperm counts. Sorry. Like, it's eating peanuts is actually good for your libido and sperm counts. So, almonds, peanuts, take your pick, baby. Um... Second, chocolate. Imagine that, guys. I don't like chocolate, but apparently, um, chocolate, um, chocolate hits the center of sexual pleasure. Okay. It says chocolate hits the center of sexual pleasure as it increases the brain's level of certain certain. I don't know what the fuck that is, but apparently, chocolate helps. Like, I don't like chocolate, and I'm not gonna start eating chocolate for nobody. So. If my if my if my partner wants me to eat chocolate just to and this I think no and this help me out mark me absent no. wine guys number three is wine apparently wine helps in stimulating the blood flow towards the brain and it adds like an aphrodisiac and bum bum whatever I've heard a lot there's this saying that guys like to say that oh I heard that wine gets you all you know, in a mood, I think it's true, guys. Wine does the trick. Wine does the trick, so yeah. And uh, apple, apparently, okay, this one is weird, but apparently, apple um, is known to produce sexual drive. It contains pleuritin, which is similar to the female sex hormone, essential that plays a major role in sexual arousal. Get yourself an apple, honey. An apple a day keeps a doctor away. <laughs> Get yourself an apple, baby. Bye. And another one which I'm kind of shocked about is banana, guys. Banana contains brom bromelain, an enzyme which triggers to to testosterone production. Right? Ooh, bye. So, boys, get yourself a pomegranate seed. Get yourself banana. Get yourself almonds. Almonds. Yeah? I said it's almond. Yeah, almonds and peanuts. Ulla babes. And another one is actually honey. It enhances testosterone production in men. Like, you see, there's different things that you can eat as men to basically boost your libido, baby. Your, your testosterone, your. Uh, what's the other word? Sperm count. Don't be out here like, ah, oh, it doesn't want to work. Ugh, boys are so annoying and lazy. Like, oh, I don't want to work. You know, I've, I've been using it for 100 years. I've, like, especially guys who are quite older. Say you're dating an older guy and they've been doing the same shit like 100 times and you think it works, but it doesn't work. That's why they've been single. Hey, get yourself some almonds. Get yourself some banana. Get yourself a honey. Make a shake or something. Do something, you know. Me, I don't like, oh, I've been using it. It doesn't work. That's why, you, you know, you're on your own. And besides, women are such sweethearts. We don't tell you guys the truth. Sad line. Okay? Just try something new. Like, spice it things up, man. Come on now. I'm gonna give you the homemade, um, homemade things that you can actually use. Um, okay. I, I did tell you about cinnamon and milk, right? This are, these are for my ladies. Cinnamon and milk. Please try it, guys. I tried it and it works. Okay, it works. Um, Stony and Hulls. I'm going to try that. And then I'm going to tell you all about it later. And Hulls for also, like, do try Hulls just for a BJ. Those black Hulls, guys. Black Hulls. Very important, okay? Not just any Hulls. The black ones. Um, rice water. Believe it or not. Like, somebody told me about this. I'm like, a whole fucking rice water. I'm not gonna try that one. I'm not that desperate. So I... <laughs> we'll stick to the nice things: apple, cinnamon, and milk. 
Stony and Pulse. I'll stick to that. Okay, um, for the ladies. Okay, this is not just for the ladies, for guys as well. But I'll start with my ladies. Hygiene is vital. Very, very important. You don't go to an AP with your nigga without bathing. Gay as a babes. Tata Ivas lap. Take your face cloth. Take your soap. Bathe the earth thing. Make sure that you bathe everything. And your coochie. Please, please. You know what? Please, guys. Please stay away from those those products that are for coochies and everything like that. Those things mess up with your pH. That's why you're bruising all those nails up to some time if you don't use it because it messes up your pH. Like, I've stopped using it and it has worked amazingly for me. Um, another thing that I've stopped doing was I stopped wearing, I stopped wearing underwear. You know, because like if you're wearing underwear, guys, you know, everything is compressed. And then you, you, your coochie feels the heat. And, you know, that's why whenever you take off your underwear, you get that. Yeah, that's because it's compressed. Heat. So I stopped wearing underwear. I stopped wearing underwear. I stopped using those products. And it worked for me, you know. But as funny song, because some people are uncomfortable without wearing underwear. I'm very much comfortable without wearing underwear. I only wear underwear when I'm on my periods. Okay um some things that can enhance like that can enhance and make you cushy smell amazing are the following plain yogurt should be your best friend baby like it should be your best friend if you if you like muesli like me get your muesli with plain yogurt and then order honey <laughs> wait pineapple baby pineapple like eat your pineapple like it's your guys especially if you're going to an ap your creature's gonna thank you. You're gonna smell amazing, you know. Cranberry juice should be your best friend. And olives. I hate olives, but apparently they're good for the woohoo. So do try those things if you're a lady. If you're a gent, okay, in the day. I ain't with it's like because bath. Bath. Shape. It's very important to bath. It's very important to shave, especially down there. If you want a woman to go down on you, make sure it's clean and shaven like it's clean and shaven and yeah i've spoke my gospel guys i'm really not a doctor or whatever but these are the things that uh, i've read about i asked about and these are some of the things that i actually tried and it actually works so yeah do comment down below if you've tried any of those or if you have your own remedies which we could try you know i'm open to trying new things um yeah man thank you so much for watching it has been absolutely amazing to make you this video see you next time bye